Today we're diving deep into the wild world of cybersecurity with 10 hacking tricks that are still wreaking havoc in 2025. These tricks are more relevant than ever, and you need to be aware of them. Don't worry though, we're not giving you the keys to the kingdom. We're here to educate and inform. This video is purely for educational purposes to help you understand the threats out there. Knowledge is power, and we want to empower you to stay safe online. So, before we launch into the meat and potatoes of it all, make sure to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on more awesome content from CyberWorld YT. We have a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Now let's set the mood, shall we? Get comfortable and ready to dive into the depths of cybersecurity. Imagine some dark, ominous background music because, let's be real, cybersecurity is serious business. It's a world full of intrigue and danger. Disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. We aim to inform and protect. We do not condone or encourage any illegal activities. Stay ethical and use your knowledge for good. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Let's use our skills to make the digital world a safer place for everyone. All right, let's kick things off with a classic phishing attacks. These are one of the most common and oldest tricks in the cyber criminals playbook. You know the drill, you get an email that looks totally legit often mimicking trusted sources. Maybe it's from your bank or a social media platform, but it's actually a trap. These emails are crafted to deceive you. These emails are designed to trick you into clicking on malicious links or downloading infected attachments. One wrong click can compromise your personal information. And the worst part, they're getting more sophisticated every day. Cyber criminals are constantly evolving their tactics. Gone are the days of dear sir and terrible grammar. Those were easier to spot. We're talking about well-crafted emails that look like the real deal, complete with company logos and everything. They can be very convincing. So how do you protect yourself? Be vigilant. Double check the sender's address, even if the email looks authentic. Hover over links before you click to see where they actually lead. This simple step can save you from a lot of trouble and never download attachments from suspicious sources. If you're unsure, it's better to be safe than sorry. Remember, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Stay cautious and protect yourself from these ever-evolving threats. Next up, we've got social engineering, which is basically hacking the human firewall. This is a method where hackers bypass technical defenses by targeting the human element. This is where things get a little sneaky because hackers are exploiting our natural tendencies, like trust and helpfulness, to gain access to sensitive information. They use tactics that play on our emotions and instincts. They might impersonate someone you know, like a co-worker or IT support, or use psychological manipulation to trick you into giving up your credentials. These tactics can be very convincing and hard to detect. Think about it. How many times have you received a phone call from someone claiming to be from your bank, asking for your account details? These calls can seem very legitimate. That's social engineering in action. It's a sophisticated form of manipulation that can have serious consequences if you're not careful. The best defense against this is to be aware of your surroundings and be cautious about who you trust. Regular training and awareness can help you recognize these tactics. If something feels off, it probably is. Trust your instincts and don't hesitate to question unusual requests. Don't be afraid to ask questions and verify identities. Always double check before sharing any sensitive information. Ransomware is the digital equivalent of a hostage situation. Hackers infect your computer with malware that encrypts all your files, locking you out of your own data. Then they demand a ransom, usually in cryptocurrency, in exchange for the decryption key. And let me tell you, these attacks are getting more sophisticated and more frequent. We're not just talking about individual computers anymore. Entire networks, even critical infrastructure, are being targeted. The best way to protect yourself? Back up your data regularly. That way, even if you get hit with ransomware, you can wipe your system clean and restore your files without giving in to the hacker's demands. Zero-day exploits, the unknown threats. Now let's talk about zero-day exploits, which are basically vulnerabilities in software that are unknown to the developers. These are particularly dangerous because there's no patch available yet, leaving your systems wide open to attack. Hackers love to exploit these vulnerabilities because they offer a direct path into your systems. It's like finding a secret back door that nobody knows about. The best way to mitigate the risk of zero-day exploits is to keep your software up to date. 
Software updates often include security patches that address known vulnerabilities, so make sure you're always running the latest versions. IoT device. Hacking, your smart home isn't so smart after all. Remember when we thought the Internet of Things was going to change our lives for the better? Well, it turns out that all those smart devices we love are also incredibly vulnerable to hacking. We're talking about everything from smart TVs and refrigerators, to security cameras, and even baby monitors. Hackers can exploit weak passwords, unsecured networks, and software vulnerabilities to gain access to these devices, turning them into tools for spying, data theft, or even launching larger attacks. So what can you do? Change the default passwords on your devices, make sure your home network is secure, and be careful about the information you share with your smart devices. Man in the middle attacks. Eavesdropping on your data. Ever feel like someone's watching your every move online? Well, with man in the middle attacks, they might be. This is where hackers intercept the communication between your device and a website or server, allowing them to eavesdrop on your data, steal your credentials, or even inject malicious code into the websites you visit. Imagine you're doing your online banking, and a hacker intercepts your connection. They could potentially capture your login credentials, access your account, and drain your bank account. The best way to protect yourself is to use a VPN, or virtual private network, which encrypts your internet traffic and makes it much harder for hackers to intercept. Remember that time you used the same password for multiple accounts? Yeah, we've all been there, but here's the thing. Hackers are counting on it. Credential stuffing is a technique where hackers use stolen credentials from one website or service and try them on other platforms. They're basically playing the odds, hoping that you've reused your password elsewhere. And unfortunately, it works surprisingly well. The solution? Use unique, strong passwords for every single account you have. I know it's a pain, but trust me, it's worth it. SQL injection, hacking your database. SQL injection attacks target websites and applications that use databases to store information. Hackers inject malicious SQL code into data inputs, like search bars or login forms, tricking the database into executing unauthorized commands. This can allow them to steal sensitive data, modify existing data, or even take control of the entire database server. It's like giving a stranger the keys to your filing cabinet. To prevent SQL injection attacks, website developers need to implement proper input validation and sanitization techniques. DDoS attacks. Taking down the internet, one packet at a time. DDoS attacks, or distributed denial of service attacks, are like the digital equivalent of a traffic jam. Hackers flood a target server with so much traffic that it becomes overwhelmed and can't respond to legitimate requests. Imagine thousands of people trying to squeeze through a single doorway at the same time. That's essentially what a DDoS attack does to a website or server. These attacks can disrupt businesses, take down websites, and even cause widespread internet outages. Preventing DDoS attacks requires a multi-layered approach, including network security measures, traffic monitoring, and mitigation services. Cryptojacking, mining your way to riches, using your computer. Last but not least, we have cryptojacking, which is a sneaky way for hackers to make money off your computing power. They infect your device with malware that uses your CPU or GPU to mine cryptocurrency without your knowledge or consent. You might notice your computer running slower than usual, your fan constantly spinning, or your electricity bill skyrocketing. That's because cryptojacking can put a significant strain on your hardware. To protect yourself, be careful about the websites you visit, the software you download, and the emails you open. You can also use browser extensions or anti-malware software that can detect and block cryptojacking scripts. So there you have it, folks. 10 hacking tricks that are still alive and kicking in 2025. It's a scary world out there. But the good news is that by understanding these threats and taking some basic precautions, you can significantly reduce your risk of becoming a victim. Remember, cybersecurity is an ongoing battle, and it's up to all of us to stay informed and stay vigilant. Keep your software updated, use strong passwords, be wary of suspicious emails, and don't click on links you don't trust. And hey, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to CyberWorld YT for more awesome content. Until next time, stay safe out there.